The more relaxed the muscles are, the more energy can flow through the body. Using muscular tensions to try to do the punch or attempting to use brute force to knock someone over will only work to opposite effect. Bruce Lee Bruce Lee is describing a fluid kinetic chain, and the energy he describes is force. Force traveling through his body and into the point he wishes to strike with. That is the principle DKU utilizes in all of his strikes. He emphasizes that hand speed should come from the ground up naturally. And when you have a fluid kinetic chain, you can definitely feel clean foot and hip movement affecting your overall hand speed. Here's an experiment you can do to prove this point to yourself. Meditate for 5 to 10 minutes, just breathe in deep, exhale slowly relaxing while listening to Marconi Union, weightless. Scientifically proven as the most relaxing song in the world. I'll leave a link down below. After you're done, just loosely flail your arms with your hips as DK does. Then, warm up by hopping forward a few times with your hips, just getting your brain muscle awareness warmed up. Now, first loosely snap a punch with no body movement, none. Just let it flow out with no body. Just get a feel for that. Now, do a quick, clean, short hop forward, flow your hips into it, and feel that kinetic energy loosely flow from the ground up and into your shoulder. Forward hop, flow into hips and shoulder. Then, as you feel that force in your hips and shoulder, snap out a punch. Instantly, you should have felt a massive difference in speed, and some of you may have even injured your shoulder or elbow joint due to elbow lockout. If that's the case, don't worry, it was for science. Yes, science! The entire motion should feel natural, fluid, and relaxed. The faster you can master doing this, the more force you will deliver. That's what DKU is doing. And now understanding this philosophy, we can all also see why he can push pedestrians over with his shoulder and hips overall using the fluid kinetic chain philosophy to transfer unexpected amounts of force from weird places. It's interesting when you understand it, and even more so when you practice it yourself. But you know what's really fascinating about all of this? What famous punch used this same philosophy? Saitama from One Punch Man. No, just ki kidding, Bruce Lee's one inch punch. People like to say it's all in the hand position and whatnot, but look at his hips and look at his back leg. Then look at his lead leg. That's where the force is coming from. He uses a fluid and relaxed kinetic chain to transfer force from the ground up, from his feet to his legs into his hips, letting that force travel all the way into his fist. And that clean execution plus the overall quick snap the faster you are, the more force you transfer, is what created that powerful push. The philosophy of fluidity is something both Bruce Lee and DKU both share. And through it, they both can generate unexpected amounts of force from weird places, from weird angles. Try it out and experiment yourself. Let your friends in on it, see how they fare with the philosophy. And remember, if you get injured, it was for sense. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. It's good karma. And until next time, peace.